Let's take a look at a multiplexer and a demultiplexer. Now I'm going to use an MC14051B and it has eight switches in it and it's going to be fine for my application. I have an ESP8266 and it only has one analog input pin and I want to be able to monitor temperature, humidity, biometric pressure and ambient light okay, through that one uh, analog input pin. So I'm going to use a multiplexer to do that. And I'm going to put those, uh, those values into the, these, uh, these switches here. And this control pins over here, as I switch these control pins, it's a binary number. And uh, so over here I have, if they're, if they're all open, X0 is going to be on. I'm not using X0. But if I put uh, switch pin A on here, then X1 is going to be on. In this case, X1 has 2.5 volts on there. I'm going to see 2.5 volts over here on the common output. If I pin 2 here, if I put a 2 in here, switch uh, pin B, uh, switch B on here, then um, X2 is going to come on. X2 happens to have 5 volts on it. It's going to show up over here. So wherever I switch these, uh, these pins here, you know, if I do them all, there's going to be a 7. And then pin X7 is going to, whatever voltage I put on X7 is going to come out on the on the uh, pin X over here, pin number three. So uh, that's all there is to it. Uh, you can put five volts uh, on these, these pins here with 10 milliamps. You can have 18 volts on the, uh, the input VDD and the, to the total um, power dissipation is about 500 milliwatts for the, for the whole unit. Now to, to ground over here, I'm gonna ground the uh, uh, VE, VSS, and then this inhibit pin. If the inhibit pin goes high, then all these switches open up and you get nothing on the output, okay? So I'm just going to keep that low. And now the, uh, these pins here, I have a 10K to ground on all, all the uh, control pins here just to uh, make sure that they they're stay grounded when my switches are in the open position. So that's that's how that's going. For, I'm going to show you how this, I have a have it set up on a, breadboard here we'll we'll see how see if it works right so now a demultiplexer just works in the opposite direction I'm going to put five volts in over on this one this pin here this pin X and as I switch through my control pins here from my my binary numbers here I'm going to light up these LEDs on the other side here so you know, pin one is going to light up X1 you know uh, this two is going to light up X2 if I put a three in there it's going to be an X3 and if I put a four that pin there, then I'll have pin four lit up. So just works in the opposite direction. And uh, that way I can switch through the, uh, pick a LED that I wanna have on, okay? So we'll take a look and see if it works. All right, so down here, I, this is my uh, multiplexer here and this is pin one here or this is uh, uh, a and then uh, that gives me uh, x1 is on and it gives me uh, two and a half volts there i just have a voltage divider over here and if uh, this is going to be a two a binary two and then i'm going to have five volts out there if i had another pin another voltage on on pin three i could put these two together and that would be uh, uh, three for my binary there so this is going to work out fine and this here is my demultiplexer okay so i'm putting five volts in on pin x there or uh, pin number three on the chip there and if i have one uh, switch a on that gives me x1 uh, switch two gives me x2 uh, there now x3 is a, is a one and a two together so i got to put these two together that gives me three, and this pin of this uh, uh, C here, this control pin C, that's going to be a four binary four, and it's going to light up my pin four there. So I have one, two, three, and four there. So that's all there is to it. Pretty easy to use, and it's going to work fine. So that I could have uh, more than one input on my uh, analog input on my uh, ESP ID two sixty six. But uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you.